An alabrije is a Mexican folk art sculpture carved from wood or formed from paper mache. Here's a finished alabrije that I designed. On the left, I have our idea sheet. Artists use lines and shapes to create the patterns on the alabrijes. And they think about color schemes. For example, here I've used warm colors on the shell and cool colors on the arms, legs, neck, and head. And I've also used value. That's the lightness or darkness of a color. First, a little art history. In the 1930s, a Mexican artist, Pedro Linares, fell sick with the flu and had some very strange dreams with colorful, magical creatures. In these dreams, they screamed at him, Alibrije! And he began to call them just that. When he recovered, he immediately got to work creating these sculptures. The city of Oaxaca, Mexico is famous for this art, and artists and families spend lots of time creating the intricate, precise designs. So I'm showing you guys how I am picking at random two animals from a list that I made. This is one way that you can brainstorm, or maybe you already have two animals in mind that you would really like to combine to make your alabrije. So I've got a lizard and a leopard first, thinking that I really love the leopard's body shape and head, but I like lizard tails and their pointy toes. So picking the parts that you like best from each animal, and I'm drawing lightly I can always press down hard to keep what I like. There's my lizard tail and some zigzag toes. You can have three, four, five, six toes. It's up to you, you're the artist. Maybe you want some zigzag spikes on the back, really reptilian. And then we're adding that round oval leopard face with those triangle ears, triangle nose, round snout and chin, up and out for the bridge and the football eyes, adding the pupil. Just want you to know that this is sped up. Of course, stop the video if you need more time. Next practice, two more animals, a wolf, and a dragonfly. So I'm thinking, hmm, I really love dragonfly wings, but I like how wolves bay at the full moon. So I want to use both of those ideas. My wolf body is an upside down letter U, a curve. He's sitting on his haunches, and the nose is up toward that full moon. Just breaking down the animal into simple shapes. There's a very furry tail, zigzag show the fur. And here's my long, skinny, curved dragonfly wings. Oh, yeah, I should add some antennas too with little spheres on the end. That's pretty cool. All the details make your art more interesting. So I'm just Adding more details, there's the wolf's paw, eye, emphasize the line and the mouse. See, I'm pressing down a little harder for those things I want to keep. One more practice together. Turtle and a unicorn. I know I've got lots of unicorn fans out there. The horn is special, so we're definitely using that. And I really like the unicorn long tail and mane, but turtles are known for their shells, so we're going to have to include that awesome turtle shell. And to save some space, my unicorn's neck and head are pointed forward, sort of like he's charging. Long skinny unicorn legs. Sorry, my head's in the way, guys. Zigzags for the hoofs. All those characteristics that make a unicorn unique. Long tail. 
mane, hair, the mouth and the snout and the nostrils. You could go ahead and make your shell bottom. So now you're going to pick your favorite one that you would like to add the color on the alabrije. If you have markers, they are great for going over your lines. Markers are nice and dark for contrast. If you don't have markers, that's okay. You can either press down really hard with colored pencils or crayons. And then you're thinking about the color schemes. I really like using warm and cool colors. So try to keep those together. Here you can see that I'm making a pattern of dark orange, light orange, dark orange, light orange. Pressing down harder for the dark, very soft for the light. Whoa, I'm going really fast. This is twice the speed that I did it at, just so you know. Using markers still for the outlines, the perimeter. Going to use the cool colors for the wolf's body. Noticing how the back hip is round. Making my big spaces a little smaller to fit the line and shape designs inside of. Using green, a second cool color. Zigzags, repeating the line type in more than one place will bring unity to your alabrije design. Dotted lines are really cool to use. Simple, but they look sophisticated and complex. So the sculptors that paint their alabrije spend hours and hours on one piece. They use an agave plant which has a really sharp needle point for the teeny tiny details. I've added some spirals and a castle pop over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up line. Those are fun. There's some wave lines. You could also call those wiggly. See, what type of line have I not used yet? Oh, I haven't done a line of circles. So repetition, using things more than once in a variety of different things. Now you can color in with light colored markers, colored pencils or crayons. My challenge for you is to try to change value. Pressing down hard in places, pressing softly in others. Unlike this video is making it appear, take your time, do your best. Step back once in a while and think, do I like how it's looking so far? What does it need? Sometimes it's nice to leave white space. It's relaxing for your eye. It's easy to overdo it sometimes. You'll know when you're done. You can cut very carefully around your alabrije so you're removing the ones that you did not add color to. And ta-da! Show it off to someone at home. You guys are awesome. Thanks for creating with me.